our, our last panelist. Kay Cote. Kay Cote is a brand specialist, graphic designer, and creator of the Fit Fabulous Life podcast. With over three years of experience in podcasting and working in live radio, she's had the opportunity to create multiple media brands. She is an expert in creating a brand with definition that is authentic to you and resonates to your audience. Let's see what Kay has to share. Come on up, Kay. Thank you, Megan. Thank you, everyone, for having me today as a guest. So picture this. I'm five years old, and I just got home from kindergarten, and it wasn't quite what I was expecting. I wasn't popular. People didn't like me, and I was struggling with that. So I dug out my old cassette recorder, and I hit the record button. That was 1994. And that was my very first podcast. And on that podcast, I, I treated it like a diary, but not for myself. It was for all the other kids who were in the exact same shoes as me. And that was how I released that energy. That is how I coped with that situation in my life as a young child. Fast forward a few years. and. I am working as a full-time graphic designer. And I get an opportunity, once again, to have my, my voice heard. And this time it was for real. I was offered a radio show gig. As a graphic designer, I'm so used to sitting behind the screen, not being heard, having my work shown, but being a little bit of a ghost. And this was an opportunity for me to learn something new, develop a new creative skill. And I got on that radio show at, I think I was there at six in the morning and learned how to run the board, bring on guests and just share fun stories and fun things with the live audience. And that's where it began. And I started a year later, it was the heat of the pandemic, and my podcast was born. I started my first podcast called The Wow Factor. And as a brander, I was so excited to dive into that world and create a visual. And since then, I've had three rebrands as the show developed into what it is now. Today, it is the Fit Fabulous Life podcast, and I love to hand out one of these stickers to share the story and get people connected to what I'm doing and sharing this with them as a logo. So I finally discovered there's a way I can meld these two worlds together as a podcaster and as a brander. Because podcasts can be used as a creative outlet, but they can also be used as a marketing tool and community for your business. So I'm going to go through a few different ways that you can create that for your business. So when you're thinking about developing your podcast, think about your unique value proposition. What are your core values? What are things that you care about? authenticity, creativity, community, words like that. And you can find different lists to choose from to find which words resonate with you. Start with picking your top five and then try to narrow it down to your top three. Think about what you talk about all the time with your friends, with your family. What do you effortly discuss? What do you nerd out about? What are you known for? And what do your friends and family go to you for and trust you for? Think about these things when you're discovering that unique value proposition. Step two, what is your niche and who is in it? The best thing to know is that you're not for everyone, but you can be for anyone. 
discovering this can be a bit of a challenge. And I found a few great ways to help me find my niche when it comes to podcasting. First, find your 12 OGs, your best buds, people you trust, colleagues, and conduct a little interview with them. Ask them questions. What's, what's their pain points in life? Ask them things that are relevant to them. And once you do these interviews, see what kind of common topics come up. And compile this information and then figure out what the top three needs are that your OGs talked about most. And if those resonate with you and have resonated with them, those can be your main points of your podcast. So step three, writing your show description. This can be the biggest challenge and it can change. And know that it's okay that when you're podcasting and with anything you do, things can change and develop. That is totally normal and it probably should be happening to some extent. So when you're writing this, Think about the transformation you want your listeners to have. And in the handout that I sent over, uh, there's some different pro tips. And one of those tips is a link to a video on the hero's journey that shows the typical transformation of a hero and what they go through. And think about your guests going through that journey as they listen to your podcast. So this is how I, I started out. By saying, my show is for blank, who blank, and blank. I know that's a mouthful. But think about your top values. And my, for example, my Fit Fabulous Life podcast, my description is this. My show is for people who want to become self-motivated to elevate their life and well-being. That description can be brought into your pitch, your 30-second pitch, your 60 second pitch, or maybe a 10 minute short pitch, long pitch. And step four, learning the basics of your visual branding. Naming your show is crucial. Like I said, I've been through three rebrands and that was so much to take on. And I finally found something that really resonates with me. So think about that when you're naming your show. Your branding visuals are like a thumbprint. They are your podcast's identity. Creating your mark, the why behind your podcast, the what, the where, and the how. A few ways to do that to do that. You can hire a designer. I may know a girl. You can use Upwork from Upwork or Fiverr. Or you can create your own logo. Have fun with it. And thinking about your thumbnails is important too. There's a few do's and don'ts that I like to follow. Your podcast is about your listeners, not you. And it took me a long time to, to kind of wrap my brain around what that means. No, it doesn't mean that you can't talk about what you love, but you think about your listeners. I opted to not put a headshot in my podcast thumbnail. Because I wanted the first thing for them to see was the Fit Fabulous Life podcast. And think about how they can create that Fit Fabulous Life for them. And step five, you can tie it all together with a killer marketing campaign. So this is where that designer marketer side of me really geeks out. You can gain a following through a Facebook group or a different group that you want to create. The point is you want to create a community around your podcast, a lot like James was saying. I like to create a weekly newsletter to share my podcast and a short blog or something like that in that, something that's inspirational too that will resonate with my listeners. You can create a template that you can easily update each week. You can leverage your podcast transcript for content to share. And you can create blogs and newsletters and LinkedIn articles, all with the same content, reworked in a little, in a slightly different way. But it takes a lot of legwork off of you as the creator, if you're doing it yourself, if you leverage some of these things. 
I like to create a splash page to capture emails. And a pro tip, I use MailChimp for my newsletter and my, my splash pages. And I have examples of both of those linked in that PDF. I have a QR code, you guys, right on my phone, right on my screen. Let's see if I can get it to pull up. Because I lose my business cards. And if I forget my stickers, I just pull this up. My sleep mode is on, so it is not letting me pull it up. But I have a QR code that's right on my screen, and I bring it with me to any networking event. I think James has actually probably scanned that QR code. It makes things super easy, and you won't forget about it, which is great. So a quick bonus, I've linked a podcast episode, How to Create a Podcast to Amp Up Your Business. I've put that in the PDF as well. And I talk about recording software, editing software, hosting platforms, and hardware and other softwares and re recording items you may need to start your show. So in closing, I just always like to think of that five-year-old Kayla, that five-year-old girl who just wanted to make the world a better place, create community, and connect with other kids who were going through the same things. And today, I like to do that the same, in the same way with the Fit Fabulous Life podcast. So thank you guys all for tuning in. Game over.